This is a power supply from an old core i2, which is, you know, an antique. Uh, first, let's do the disclaimer, make sure this isn't plugged in. Uh, these things can hold power for a while, but capacitors can hold power. You can shock or kill yourself. So if you don't know what you're doing, find somebody to help you. Okay, but there are some uh, really good, interesting components on here that are worth salvaging. So let's take a close-up look and see what those may be. So the first thing I've seen are these two big resistors over here. These are through-hole type. And, you know, they're not so easy to find anymore, so it could be worth pulling off of there, especially the bigger ones. And then we've got a couple transistors right here that uh, don't know the values uh, the way they're on here. I'd have to pull them up or unsolder them to, to uh, see the values. But, you know, they could be good for if you're doing a uh, jewel thief or some such. Here's a nice little capacitor. Okay, let's move on around the board a bit. The next thing we see is this big heat sink. And it has, let's see, see it, get a, another side view of it and see what's attached to it. Looks like we have three fuzzy, probably either uh, a uh, transistor or a uh, voltage regulator. So those might be interesting. Got three of them on there and some hardware. So the two things we recover usually are hardware, stuff like this, and then the electronics. So there's some nice attachment hardware, the screws, the insulators, all that stuff. Uh, some diodes. They usually don't get diodes because of the fact that they're oftentimes bad. I guess you can test for it. There's a capacitor. There's a nice coil back in there. So again, a uh, jewel thief. Uh, a little tra uh, transformer. And another either transistor or something similar and moving on around we've got a lot of capacitors electrolytic capacitors oh in there there's hiding a nice little coil so again might be something for jewel thief or a, some kind of high frequency project uh, more capacitors and it looks like there's another coil some more Capacitors hiding back in there, and then some transistor like things or voltage regulators. Another coil or transformer, however you want to use it. And usually don't pull up chips anymore, just not worth it. Uh, let's see, capacitor, and what else was I looking at? Uh, not sure what that is. It's an M. This is probably a. Uh, uh, filter and you, you can salvage those off there because when they go bad they're really 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 hard to buy oh, they can be there's a fuse uh, two capacitors another coil another capacitor not sure oh, it looks like a capacitor I see the C3 another inductor L2 my um, guess this is a full wave bridge diode which is not a bad thing to have uh, another capacitor, big diode, capacitor, resistor, another big honking coil, and a good sized resistor that's 105 degrees centigrade, which is uh, unusual, and probably another, another capacitor. Can't really tell. Can't really read that. Okay, and then back to the beginning. So, uh, a lot of interesting stuff on this one board which would otherwise get thrown away with some antique computer. So, you know, while you're sitting in front of the TV, you can uh, get out your soldering iron and pull some interesting components off of there. Okay, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your home DIY electronics.